Okay, so going back to our um, seat belt position here, all right, the one constant, like I said, I like to make sure this back leg is hooked, all right? Back leg's hooked, maybe he's trying to come out. Sometimes I, I just gotta lift up and, and I'm pressuring in. Then I wanna make sure this is hooked, all right? So he can't square his hips away. That's the most important piece for me here. I don't want him to get to this position. He extends my arm, now I'm holding his whole body weight with one arm. Odds are, unless you're Hulk Hogan, you're not holding that in. Right, so I've got this position. I'm hooking. You know, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm trying to get my shin lizard. I mean, my my uh, my limp really bad. I'm trying my limp. He's doing a good job pressuring. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate my arm now. My hand goes from the seat belt to his shoulder, right here. Now I need to continue this pressure. Right, I want to make sure he's defending something. When I stop moving, it gives him a chance to come up with. A position that maybe, hey, maybe I can score here. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I'm able to get out. So I don't want to. I don't want to take the the pressure off. I don't want to take my foot off the gas quite yet. And seatbelt, leg is hooked. I'm starting to pressure. Right? It's kind of a sequence. I chain wrestle here. I try to feel what works. Is my is my limp arm going to work? Is the crank going to work? Do I have to do a couple different things here? But it's okay to start trying a couple different uh, of the positions. Right? So I, I try my my uh, my limp. He's doing a good job defending. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate my hand from his hip to his shoulder. Now I'm just gonna shoulder crank, right? I'm gonna grab my own hand, and this one's a little bit more brute force. I'm just literally pulling it down. So not too much finesse to this one. Rotating, hands going up here, grabbing my own uh, wrist. I'm just gonna punch my arm down on the mat, crank it, here. Right, the pressure is important because as I pressure in, I want him to be off balance. So I'm going to be driving off this foot, pulling through. Once I get to here, I've got my takedown. Right, so like I said, not too much finesse to this one, not too much to it. Rotating from um, my seat belt to the shoulder. I'll show one more time as we get in here. We hook, rotate. I'm trying to get my my uh, hand right where the meaty part of his shoulder is. And I'm gonna pressure in. Pressure in, get him to potentially try to wing down one more time. And as I go, just punching my hand down to the mat and his hand is gonna rotate over my head. So punch, shoulder crank, pull him down. Now I'm in my top position. I've got my takedown. I haven't had to work too hard. Um, a little bit more of a power move if you've got some strength in your, in your shoulders. So kind of look in there, you've got your finesse with the limp and you've got your power with the crank.